KFNN. Headline News Update. Good afternoon, folks. This is Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of very sunny Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 2 p.m. update. Currently got all the U.S. indices trading lower. The Dow's down 197 points. The S&P's off 34. The Nasdaq 101 and 2 tenths percent. That's 195 points. Russell's off 31. Semi's down 95. Trendy's up 74 out here. Spot volatility is above its 50-day exponential moving average. The 50 days at 17.75 or thereabouts. It's trading at 1866. That's always a bearish directional signal for the S&P 500. Uh, you got gold up $16, silver's up $0.34, cents, lights we crew back to $59. let us go spend a little time with those uh, indice charts out here as we do during this segment. As soon as I get that populated on the screen, the upper left-hand corner is going to be the Dow. What we can see here, you've got a valid TD9 count top. Price right now is testing its green oscillator and change line. It's actually below that level. That level is 36177 and a close below that could suggest a price target of 35545 We'd really have to go back to the Dow Equity Future Contract profile to see where its level of support is. But that becomes a price target in the cash indice. The S&P 500 has a TD9 count top. As long as price closed below 46.62 today, that's a green oscillator and change line. That suggests lower price. Same thing, same playbook. We go back to the S Mini to see what its price target. Well, let me. I can. I can do this on a separate screen. So the separate target for the ES Mini out here would be 46.35. If price closed below 46.35 on the ES Mini, then that says the S and P 500 should go target 45.51. Inside the Dow, the target is 35.759. If price closed below that, then we are looking at about the Dow itself, the cash indice going to 35.545 level. The NDX 100 out here. Uh, it is below its oscillator and change line. And uh, that would suggest that if uh, price is going to go target in the NQ, about the 15,677, 15,763, 15,578 happens to be the TD9 breakout level for the NDX 100. Russell 2000 right now is testing or is getting close to testing this green oscillator and change line. A close below that would suggest lower price. The semis, they have a TD9 count top. Price is going to go target its oscillator and change line, 36.43. Price would need to close below that to really get uh, somewhat more really bearish, to give you a, a, a more bearish directional signal. The transports, uh, not much to talk about here. Spot volatility X, that is, and as long as price is above 1776, that says uh, more downside movement for the S&P. The XAU, watch this. So today's candle right now is a shooting star. It's both a bullish candle, which is a gap to the upside, and a bearish candle, a shooting star. So you got two messages out there. Which one is the right one? Well, let's wait till the end of the day. Hey, folks, stay tuned for two more great hours. I'll see you tomorrow on Terrific Thursday. Have a wonderful Wednesday.